Hey everybody, Black Ninja 797 here, and in today's video, this is going to be a update video regarding Fortnite. I normally don't do these types of videos where I do a news-related sort of video because I don't want to be like every other YouTuber that's like, hey guys, I'm going to tell you everything about this new update in this game that pretty much every other YouTuber's also talked about, and it's only going to be for 30 seconds, so you could have just looked it up on Twitter. I'm not going to do that. I only ever do a news video regarding a thing in the game every now and then because usually whenever there's these updates for games, they tend to be on Twitter or Whatever. And I don't normally like to do that because it's just as simple as hit retweets so that way everyone else knows because it's going to appear on my page, whatever. But there's certain types of things like this where I feel like that they're necessary for a video because not everyone's going to have Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, or not necessarily follow the pages of these games so that way they can get all the latest news and information. I'm actually going to shut my door because I didn't know that my neighbor was going to start a lawnmower. <laughs> it's a nice day out, so I left the window open. Uh, but basically, the way that this update works, uh, and I'm talking about Fortnite here, by the way. Basically, the way that this update for Fortnite is today is that they had a new patch that released earlier this morning that allows you to end up playing as the main villain from the Marvel's movie uh, Avengers Infinity War. Now, I'm probably going to mispronounce this very horribly because this name, for some reason, I can never get right. Thanos, and I'm probably mispronouncing that, but please don't burn me at the stake for it. Um, but basically the main enemy or the main villain from the Avengers Infinity War that just came out recently is now inside of Fortnite. So there's a limited time mode or an LTM that allows you to play as him. So it acts like blitz mode where everyone spawns in on the map, you know, per usual. And it's like blitz where they make the storm already starting to come in and there's like the predetermined circle and everything. And I'm guessing that within that predetermined circle is where this, um, you know, drop ends up appearing. So what ends up happening is that you can end up seeing a meteor crash down and then the meteor will open up the gauntlet and the gauntlet will be sitting there. If you pick it up, you will just transform into Thanos. And then what ends up happening is that you go through an animation or a cutscene where you're in the sky and you're playing as him and then you're going to shoot back down out of the sky again. Because if you just became him just up and, you know, right there on the ground, it'd be a little bit horrible for anybody nearby. So they shoot you back in the sky and you have to fall back down. Now, he is a absolute monster, so you have to work together to be able to kill this guy. He's absolutely insane. Just like in the movie, just like he is in the story, he's absolutely insane. He has a whole bunch of abilities in Fortnite, but they're not exactly as OP as you think. Sure, he's really strong or whatever, but he's not going to be like able to do anything absolutely inc uh, like incredibly crazy. He can't use any guns. He doesn't have the ability to use any buildables like ramps, uh, triangles, or walls or anything, so he can't build, period. He also doesn't have the ability to use campfires, launch pads, or spike traps. He doesn't have the ability to use any of those, so it's all about his ability. So as long as you end up having a gun or something that is explosive or range, you probably could be able to end up killing him if you end up working together. The thing is, though, the one thing that's about this mode, though, is that it's in only solos. So everybody's all having a free-for-all to get this gauntlet. So usually people work together to kill him, but sometimes you could have that one guy just going to kill any nearby enemies and then kill the, the guy on his own just because he wants to make sure that he gets the gauntlet, which is stupid. But uh, yeah, you have to work for this thing. So like I said, you can't build, you can't use your abilities. Uh, you, the only thing you can use is what the gauntlet provides you. So uh, the abilities uh, are like a giant laser that comes out of the gauntlet. It's just like kind of like your long range attack. This is something that cha uh, ch uh, channels over time. You also have the ability to end up doing kind of like a slam from like Overwatch with Doomfist. Where it's pretty much the same exact animation. You like raise, rise up and you slam down and it destroys any buildables that are around. If it's metal, if it's wood, if it's brick, it doesn't matter. You will destroy everything in your path. I've seen gameplay already and people will jump on top of a house like a full brick house sometimes even like portal forts where they're made out of metal they're instantly gone just immediately gone they're just one one shot it's amazing how strong this thing is uh you also have the ability you know to end up jumping really high i think there's a, a rocket punch sort of like doom fist from overwatch where over time you like prime the thing back and then you look launch forward so he is really strong and in a 1v1 situation you're pretty much screwed because i think he can two shot you if you have max uh like if he ends up mailing you like bam bam you're dead in like two shots so you're pretty much screwed unless you have like teammates working together with you so i would say around like the last five people whoever gets him last is probably gonna win uh, unless you end up working together, but you're definitely going to need to end up playing your cards right if you want to be able to get this and win. This is probably an easy way you can also get a win too. If you can just time it just right, it probably would work. And I love these modes where people can transform into something like a third party character or whatever that's not even necessarily in the game. I love that about Call of Duty Ghost. That's one of the things I absolutely loved about Call of Duty Ghost, even though I didn't necessarily particularly like that game. 
I absolutely love the Michael Myers, the Predator, and the Death Mariachi field orders, if you guys remember those. And three out of the four DLCs for COD Ghost, they had a field order on every single type of the maps that were like all special themed, and you could end up becoming a like third party character and going around killing people just like this, and I always liked that. And now they have that in Fortnite, which is super, super cool, and I love that. Hopefully they do something like this again. Maybe they can do another Marvel character since they have the, the rights to the uh, Thanos guy. Hopefully they can do something like all the other superheroes that people make making clickbait thumbnails about and everything. But I would absolutely love if they could end up doing more of these. This is really cool. This doesn't apply to DC, by the way. This is just Marvel. So if you're a big Marvel fan or whatever, this is a great thing for you because then you have your favorite game and your favorite like movie series crossing over, which is sweet. And uh, the cool thing is about this too is that this limited time mode is going to probably be available for a while if everyone likes it. But it is a limited time, so you might want to do it while you can. But that's pretty much it. I mean, I can't really think of anything. I'm definitely going to see if I can try to get gameplay of him, but I thought I would just announce this in case you guys don't follow anything on Twitter or whatever, and you don't necessarily know about this unless you're looking at the game. You might not be at your Xbox or your PlayStation or your PC. So I just thought I'd mention that. But anyways, guys, I'm going to see if I can get gameplay of him later on. If you liked today's video, I really appreciate if you could drop a thumbs up on the video and subscribe if you're new, and I will see you all later. Peace.